Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com. In this video, I'll be talking about the search engine sitemap feature in .NET Nook. So, there used to be, uh, actually, there is a sitemap uh, feature in past versions of .NET Nook, but uh, but this one here, I, I'm not sure exactly when it was intro introduced into uh, .NET Nook, but this is DNN. 561 so that's the most recent version and today is february 1st 2011 so to have a look at this feature first of all we have to log in to the back end so we can do that uh, as admin or super user in my case here i'm gonna do it as super user now if you go under admin the very last option is called search engine sitemap. So if you click there, you will see at the very top, it shows a URL that will produce the sitemap uh, XML. Uh, it, it will produce a file in an XML format of your site's sitemap. So if I have a look at this one here, if I open in a new tab, I can see the sitemap of my website. And this is a, a fresh install of uh, .NET Nook. So there is only the home page, search results, and user profile page. So there, uh, in prior versions of DNN, this was uh, the only sitemap feature that was available to, to users. Now they have created this interface. They have created this module that gives us uh, a couple of more options to play around with the and, and, and customize the settings of our sitemap. So what are those extra settings? First is that there is a there's a provider that will create the sitemap. We're not gonna play around with that. We're just gonna keep as is. There are some more I'd say interesting options settings uh, down below. So the first one that really that we can really see here is use page level based priorities. If we have a look at the sitemap right now, you can see that the priority there is all 0 0.5. Now, to be honest, I'm not sure if there is really a big advantage or disadvantage of using priority or not. Uh, usually, I didn't really care too much about that, so I usually leave it as, as is. But if you know or if you want to tweak that, you may want to consider using uh, page level uh, priorities. So let's let's have a look at, and see one concrete example here. Let's check this this box, and then let's save sitemap configuration, and let's refresh page priorities as well here. So let's go back to our sitemap and let's refresh to see how it's looking like now. So no change yet. Let's go back again and clear clear the cache of our sitemap. So it's clear. I hope that things will change now. Yes, it did change. So it's only showing the home page now. And this is because the other two pages that were showing before, they they are hidden pages. So if I want to show them, I have to check this box here as well. I will save my sitemap. I'll click on refresh priorities just in case. I'm not sure exactly what this is. And I'm going to clear the cache as well so I can refresh. And I can see that the hidden pages, which is search results and user profile, they are also showing up and they all are all set as priority uh, 1.0. Now, uh, to give an example of what a uh, use uh, page level based priority really means, I'm going to create a page underneath the home page. So um, if we go create a new page. I'm going to call this about and the parent page will be home and it will be included in the menu and all users will be able to see it. Let's click update. Now, if I go to the sitemap and if I refresh, it's not there yet. And again, very, very simple to understand that if we go back to admin and search engine sitemap, uh, there is an option here and I will cover that already. A uh, days to cache sitemap. So the sitemap gets uh, cached by default for one day. So every day it gets refreshed. I can change that easily to disable caching. So there will be no caching. But if you have a, a 
a huge volume of pages, you may want to cache that. So let's keep it as one day, but then I'll have to clear the cache so the sitemap can be regenerated. If I go back to the sitemap tab here, now I can see that the about us is there. And because we are using here in the settings, this option that says use page level based priorities, what happens is that home page, which is in the very top level, gets priority one. And in our case here, about, we just created about underneath home. Now it gets a priority of zero, 0.9 and it goes like that if you put another page under home it will get 0.9 but if you put another page under about it will get a 0.8 so it goes decreasing the priority as it goes deeper and deeper into the menu structure now let's go back there so we have covered the first one and we have covered the include hidden pages as well so again if this option is checked hidden pages pages that are not being displayed in the menu and, if, and I'll give an example. Let's just create a, a new page here. Let's call this contact. And let's keep it under, let's keep it in the top level. All users will have access, but we are not including in the menu. So it's considered to be a hidden page. So let's click update. As you can see, uh, the contact page was not added to the menu, so it's a hidden page. Now, if I go back to the search engine and if I clear my cache, and if I refresh the sitemap, you see contact is added to the sitemap, priority one, because we have added to the very top. But now if I uncheck include hidden pages, if I save this and if I Again, clear the cache. What will happen is that if I refresh, contact is no longer showing up because contact and some other pages were hidden. Now, let's have a look at this setting here. Exclude URLs with a priority lower than, in this case here by default, 0 0.1. What this means is if there are, if your site has too many pages and you don't want to index, uh, you don't want to each and every single page to be included in the sitemap. And if there are pages in our case here, let's say that they, they are lower than 0 0.1 or we can change this easily. So those pages with those lower uh, priorities will not be displayed within the sitemap. And again, you can, you can, you may not use that, but it's there for you. This is the end of part one of the video about the search engine sitemap module in .NET Nook.